My heart's calculating, a new Zeta will be waiting, be waiting at the end of my ride. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Today we're going to talk about how to prioritize our stuff. We have so much stuff going on right now in the game with Zetas and gear and trying to farm Galactic Legends and should we be working on Galactic Legends instead of Jedi Cal Kestis? What should we be doing? Should we be trying to get 5 star Leviathan up to 7 star? Tons and tons and tons of stuff so I'm going to show you guys uh, how how I'm planning it on what my middle account because I, I'm potentially going to get 4 Galactic Legends in 3 or 4 months and as well as Jedi Cal. How am I going to be able to absorb all that? Let's let's go talk about it. First I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all the support guys. Truly appreciate it. And folks if you want to support the channel for free all you've got to do is hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, comment, mount the algorithm that you'll get free to Zetas I, I hear. That, that'll work for you. I'm sure that'll be really good. So, uh, <laughs> there's, all right guys, there's a lot going on. The Galactic Legend race is here. We just got uh, a couple free Galactic Legends in a way. I mean, you have to pay some money, but that's the best value CG has ever given. It's, you, you can spend, what, like 50 bucks and get about $4,500 worth of gear and relics and farming for, I mean, not for free, but I mean, it feels like free, right? It's It, it moves you up about a year's worth of farming. It's, it's been pretty amazing. It's, it's it, it changes things. It's transformative to rosters. And there's also a hint that there's going to be a Galactic Legends store. Now, we don't know for sure what that is. You can see the picture above my head. There's a little work in progress symbol, and we just don't know. Uh, we also have Leia here, Leviathan. They're both doing really important things in GAC, territory wars, in arenas, all of that stuff. But then we also have Jedi Cal returning in October, and, uh, you know, at the end of this month, and probably he's going to show up in December as well for the people who are slow, slow farming, like my littler account. So, uh, how are we gonna, how are we gonna deal with all of that? How do we choose uh, so, I mean, the, the really obvious stuff, right? First, right, we go by need. How badly do you need something? You know, just the, the general priority list. If you can't function without a thing, that, then, you know, why aren't you working on it? What's the impact that it's going to have on your roster? It might be nice to be working on Phoenix, but are Phoenix really that necessary? Really? Truly? Uh, uh, you know, and how practical is it? Just because... Leia, you might feel like you need Leia to, uh, Galactic Legend Leia to be able to destroy your opponents. Doesn't mean it's practical to actually get it. How how soon can you really do it, uh, given how much you want to actually, you know, spend money, how many resources you want to spend, etc. Uh, like, what what is the cost? So, obviously, we have to weigh all of those things in. They're all factors. And if you... If you can't live without it though, folks, I mean, <laughs> this is an important thing. It's it's like Princess Vespa says, it's it's her industrial size hair dryer and she can't live without it. Who, who's to say she can't live without it, guys? I mean, Lone Star doesn't seem to believe it, but she might, she might die. She doesn't, actually. So, uh, anyways, I mean... If you need something for Red Crate in Conquest, maybe that's a reason to... I mean, this, this is all just subjective, right? If you don't care about Conquest, then you don't care about the farm that you might you might need to get these characters up and running. Like, you know, Inquisition have been really helpful for uh, Conquest on several different levels, both with feats and being able to just bludgeon anything that comes across their path. And... Maybe maybe you don't care about that in Conquest. Uh, uh, otherwise, if there's a new event coming out, maybe you don't care about participating in that new event, or, or maybe it's going to be uh, something industrial size hair dryer strength of appeal, uh, you know, or raid requirements. Maybe your guild is requiring it. There's a lot of different things, uh, and it, 
we have to be flexible, right? I mean, that's that's part of part of all of our farming strategy. And so, uh, you know, we also have to think, what's the real impact? You have to think, okay, so right now this is a debate, and I'm, I'll show you guys in, in a little bit what I'm talking about, but I, I'm debating whether I should be working on Supreme Leader Kylo or Jedi Cal, and it seems pretty obvious. Uh, Supreme Leader Kylo is a galactic legend. He is obviously more powerful on a lot of different levels than Jedi Cal. However, power isn't everything. Think about, you can't go to Zepho without Cal. You can't, I mean, Supreme Leader Kylo can't get you there. You also, <laughs> Kylo can take out a lot of stuff, but then also, how many uh, how many advanced counters can he really accomplish? I mean, may maybe the same amount, maybe more. I, d I don't know. Um, How easy is it to unlock Jedi Cal as opposed to Supreme Leader Kylo? And how many people on on Supreme Leader Kylo's team need Zetas? I mean, these are all things that we need to ask because as, as it stands, that like the real impact, yeah, it, like in a vacuum, sure, Supreme Leader Kylo may sound better, but there are a lot of things that Jedi Cal is going to have him beat on in terms of putting gear on him first, etc. Uh, so we'll talk about that, and then just keep in mind, folks, you don't have to keep you, yourself to just one farm. You can usually work on more than one thing at once. You just have to be wise about it, which I'll show you guys in, in just a little bit. Uh, and then you also need to keep in mind, folks, this is really important, too. It, like, you want to keep all your different streams of farming, of working on stuff going, and sometimes you're going to need to just... Do something that may, maybe you don't prefer to do it. Uh, for instance, if you're going to be farming Supreme Leader Kylo, it may be, I don't remember, honestly, uh, you may be that you need the Hux Zeta. And if if you're trying to farm tickets, if you're already farming tickets, maybe you need to just pump the brakes and apply that Zeta so that you can actually be earning shards instead of just having a million tickets that you can't use. Uh, like, maybe that's what you need to do. Instead of saving Zetas for Supreme Leader Kylo, who you're going to be unlocking later, maybe you just need to apply one of those to Hux so you can actually get him, etc. So let's go to the game and I'll show you guys a more practical example of all of these awesome things and principles that I've been discussing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, we're, we're in the game. This is Professor X. This is, gosh, we, we've, ever since I bought those bundles, those packs, we've, <laughs> man, I, I have 10 million GP now. Uh, that's, it, it is completely insane, guys. And, alright, so, here, what, how do, how do you even go about talking about this, guys? So this account is mostly free to play, not quite, obviously I bought those bundles, I always buy that $10 pack for uh, the raid, or not the raid, for whatever it's called, Conquest, that's what it is. Yay, the Conquest Pass, $10, and then otherwise, yes, I've spent a little bit here and there, but for the most part, the account is free to play beyond the things I just mentioned, and so, you know, and plus I miss a ton of of my refreshes, you know, my free energy and all that stuff. So I figure, in in a way, there's a little bit of parody because hopefully the conquest passes help make up just a little bit for all that missed energy. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it's maybe it's not proportionate. I'm not really sure. But what I do know is I did I had no idea that one day that that when the bundles were released that I would be farming Ray later that same day. And so I have Relic 8 on Ray. We're still working on the ultimate that's going to take a while cuz I'm going to be slow farming it cuz ain't nobody got time for, or crystals to be farming it too strenuously when you don't necessarily need it right away. I mean, it's, it's a nice ultimate for sure, but uh, I mean, there's a lot of different farms going on though, guys. So if you look at, uh, well, I guess the easiest one to point out, guys, is I'm working on Leviathan right now at 45 out of 85. We're getting there. I would love to get it seven stars. There's there's tons of benefits for getting it seven stars, but for ships, I mean that's the only thing I need. I even I even got uh, I was a, even the beneficiary of the the Marauder, the the farm where if you're farming a Galactic Legend, 
then you can immediately get a ton of shards for, uh, you know, whatever. You get double the shards for the chase. It's just a bug that they have out there. And I have Marauder farmed, so I've, I have all my ships farmed besides Leviathan. And otherwise, I have a lot of different... Th so... I was looking the other day, look at, I'm, I'm kind of close to Lord Vader, this hasn't even been something on my radar guys, but I'm kind of close to Lord Vader, especially if I work on the characters that need, the Marauder is necessary for, like Hunter and Wrecker, then I'll be pretty close to Lord Vader actually, but uh, beyond that, Supreme Leader Kylo, all I need are, I need like six total relic levels from, I need to go from six to seven on three different characters. Or from five to seven on three different characters. See, so the Eternal Emperor, I, I was, I'm just about to just trip and fall accidentally into this farm because all of these characters are so useful. We just need Krennic and we need Sidious, eight total pieces of gear. Afra farm, I already have two characters done and triple zero is farmed and only needs four pieces of gear. Sauna, of course, needs a lot of work, and that doesn't, <laughs> and that's just her personal life. But, <laughs> uh, I mean, also, I've been working on Galactic Legend Leia requirements, and I'm not that far away from those either. Just mostly the characters that need to be farmed for it. Rex is almost done. The Ewok Princess is getting there. Scout Trooper, I would prefer to just farm Scout Trooper faster than, than the stupid Ewok girl. And then Captain... Drogon himself, of course, he's not even farmable yet. So, uh, there's, this account can get all of these characters really quickly. I, I mean, I could just stop and press, choose one of them, and I'll unlock them pretty quick. So, how, how do I choose? I mean, Leia being the, the exception, right? Like, we can't just choose to, to get Leia unless I want to spend a lot of money, which I, I don't. Whoa. What have I done? That was... That was the most madness of them all. So, priorities. What what do we need to do, guys? So, Galactic Legend Ray, she basically is done. I don't think I'm going to get her to Relic 9 anytime too soon. M maybe, but, I mean, in some ways, that that's kind of its own little isolated event. Because Droid Brains, it, like, it requires a lot of stuff that... I wouldn't be able to apply on other characters anyways. Uh, ben Solo, I would love to put an Omicron on him, maybe put some Relic levels on him, but for the most part, all we need to do really is farm her ult, and we're we're good to go. Now, Supreme Leader Kyler requirements, see, we need 5 to 7 on Palpatine, which, which ironically is also part of the Sith Eternal Emperor requirements, but then crew and Kylo, they need those, those relics, and then I can immediately start farming dark side tickets with Supreme Leader Kylo. We also have Sith the Eternal Emperor requirements. Um, uh, you know, Marauder would be nice because I already have a Leviathan fleet, and Marauder is really nice for his bomber. And then, of course, you know, the, the other characters that I was just showing you, Galactic Legend Leia has those requirements. And then other projects, like, that we could be working on. So Jedi Cal, I'm done farming these characters, guys. Um, we're ready. We're ready to do the event as soon as it drops, which is in a couple weeks. And, uh, yeah, it's great. I would love to get Marin more pieces of gear, but, hmm, we'll have to wait a little bit. Leviathan needs to go up to seven stars, like I showed you. The new raid is coming, so we need to be working on things for the raid, in theory. That's, that could be a priority. We also have, I mean, th and this is ridiculous, guys. Like, why, why would we, why would we prioritize this? This is just another factor. Like, there's so many factors of things that we could be working on, and so we also have the, the Marin node in territory battles, and that would require a ton of, of relic levels and stuff, but, I mean, may maybe that's what we want to do. Phoenix are pretty cool. I would love to work on them, especially because Captain Rex will be Relic 7 kind of soon. I mean, he's he's not even that far. He's just 24 shards away, and then he can be there. So it would be nice if Phoenix could get some work. Uh, Afra, I mean, obviously it would be nice to unlock Afra. She does a lot of cool off-meta stuff. Um, and then, of course, we also have a bunch of Omicrons that we need on Ben Solo, probably on Scout Trooper for the new raid. Admiral Trench, may, maybe. I mean, he's Relic 7. It's like, maybe I, I, I may as well. Uh, the new Moff Gideon might want some, who knows. Captain Drogon, I mean, Leia's crazy strong, and his Omicron only adds to that dominance. So the question is, what's practical? What things do we need to be considering about each of these in order to kind of eliminate some of the noise? So, uh, kind of going through all of the same squads here, um, uh, but but with these different captions. So, Rey only needs a couple more Zetas. I mean, she, that, that's one of the big crunches, right, is I need Zetas on a lot of things, though I already had them on a lot of, like, the... 
the periphery characters like Kylo Ren Unmasked already had two, for instance, but Rey, she needs at least two more. She needs two Zetas, and then probably at least one Omicron on Ben. I would love to get three. I don't think that's practical, but I would love that. Um, and then for for Supreme Leader Kylo, we need the, the Zetas for Supreme Leader Kylo eventually. We need gear and we need relics. We need relics for Kylo. He needs to get to Relic 8 as soon as he can, of course, and then we need the gear for him. We don't need gear for anyone else, but then we need relics for him and we need them for all these guys. No, not too bad. That, that, that's probably one of the next ones we need to be considering. We need a lot, so for say the Eternal Emperor, we need lots of Relic Zetas. And, um, I mean, in terms of how practically useful they are, I'd say Kylo is probably a little more practically useful than say the Eternal Emperor. It was just, he was so far away from me finishing his farm that I may as well have been working on Sealy Eternal instead, but now at, at the tables have turned, haha, -ha, and we may as well be working on Supreme Leader Kylo. <clears throat> um, in terms of Leia, we, we need tons of shards still. And then we need, like, this is 28 relics worth, guys, before we even farm Leia. And once we unlock her, we need another, like, 8 or 9, because she wants relic 8 or 9 as soon as possible. And then Drogon probably wants at least one more. And then, who knows, Scout Trooper might want another one. Um, Jedi Cal, uh, on a practical level, we only need to gear one more character, because Jedi Cal... It, once we have him unlocked, then we may as well just be working on, I mean, he, that, that's all we need, right? Like, he'll be here, and once I get him, if I can apply those three Zetas on him and all the gear and relics, it, it's just one character, and, and then he's ready to go. We don't need anything more from him. He's just one character, and he's going to impact the roster in a really big way. We already have a team for him. I mean, I have Jedi Master Luke as well, if I wanted to put him with that, with, with that guy. I have Seer at, already at relics. I mean, maybe she needs a few more to be able to get to Zepho, but... Like we're, we're basically ready for Jedi Cal. He's just one character, as opposed to how many characters for Supreme Leader Kylo. I mean, you know, uh, we probably want more relics for them as well. Uh, but anyways, on <clears throat> on another note, so so we could be working on Cal. Like he, he's, he's probably going to be my next in, in priority here because we'll get Rey and then I need us to start hoarding things. For, for Cal, and I'll show you guys the, the current layers that we're working on, kind of, and putting everything in perspective. Um, Leviathan, we can still be working on crystals, like, that's the biggest thing, is we need crystals for refreshes to be able to farm Leviathan faster, so we don't, we can actually farm it within the next year or so. Uh, for, for the Night Sisters, we need so many, we, they, they need to be Relic 7. Like, even old Daka needs a couple, and she's the, by far the closest. This is probably not that practical of a farm at all. And, but, but the Phoenix we could be working on, because none of the characters we're working on right now are outside of, uh, like, they're, they're all already relict. And so we can start, be, we can be putting gear on Phoenix as long as it doesn't interfere with what Cal is doing. We can be working on Phoenix. We can get him to gear 12 at least so that when we get Rex, maybe we can start countering some stuff. <clears throat> you know, Hera already is at 5 and then we can slowly work on these other characters. Um, The, the thing to keep in mind about Afra is <laughs> even, even if we didn't, like we don't need her for anything, but then even if we decided to start working on her, and it's, uh, okay, let's get triple zero, and let's get Sauna worked up. Lots, still lots of Chirotech for, for both of them, between the two of them. That's a lot of farming for Sauna, that's a lot of everything. Then we still have to get Dr. Afra, and we have to get her to like Relic 8, 7 or 8 or something. We need to get BT1 to 7 or 8, and, and it's, it's just so crazy expensive like the squad is very relic intensive if you want to start countering like Jabba and stuff and that's what I would want to do and so in a lot of ways 
getting Afra adds to the problem because then we have to put more stuff on the squad. It's it's a lot. Plus she needs Zetas as well. And then Omicrons. I mean, we could be just applying Omicrons or saving them as time goes. So the current layers that we're going for, and this is what I talk about a lot on this channel, guys, is how to layer your farms and how to make sure that you're working on multiple things at once. So crystals, you don't need crystals for any of this other stuff except for or maybe that Leia farm, if you want to accelerate these <laughs> these nodes a little bit, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I've been doing one refresh on each, so that costs 75 crystals every day that I wouldn't normally be spending, but that, that does accelerate them, but you know, it gets them fast, faster by about double. And, uh, but otherwise, we can be saving crystals for Leviathan, and then just choose not to spend crystals on gear and stuff. I know that that might be tough for some people, but that that's what I'm choosing to do and that that's very possible even for for this account for for any of the accounts really. Um so tickets and relics, I mean, this is the ticket farm is one at a, one character at a time anyways, right? So we, we can be working on tickets and then we can be working on um maybe some relics if we need to. Uh so uh, otherwise, so our crystal farm is here. Our ticket farm and maybe some relics are here. Our actual shard farming is right here with with the uh, with the Galactic Legend Leia requirements. That's that's all the farm I need right now. Um, Cal is ready, and so really what we need to be doing it like on. So we're we're farming tickets. We're we're saving crystals. We're farming shards. None of that really messes with our ability to stockpile gear and relic materials for when Jedi Cal is here. Uh, it's also for Zetas, and he's probably going to be next on my Zeta list. Uh, Ray's going to just have to hang out with three for a while, frankly, because he's going to complete a ton of teams. He's going to complete a ton of objectives, and I think I want Cal here as soon as possible, as opposed to what does Ray do with, with six Zetas? Um, some cool stuff. Not nearly as much as Cal does, though. Um, <clears throat> as far as the Gear 12 stuff, as long as it doesn't interfere with Jedi Cal, we can be working on Phoenix and maybe even start putting Gear 13 on some of that stuff, though we do need to also be saving a little bit of that gear for the, you know, upcoming Leia farms, like start putting gear on Rex as soon as we can, etc. Uh, once, once he gets to seven stars. And then Omicrons, uh, probably, I mean, this is another thing that, you know, we could be working on Omicrons and everything. And so we have all these different layers, like, you know, we, we could be working on each of these things and, uh, you know, we, we can, we can prioritize based off of that. And uh, I mean, Supreme Leader Kylo will come next. He'll be the next relic farm. Uh, so, you know, how do we reconcile that with trying to make sure we have enough relics on Cal? I mean, that, that all goes back to what thing is the most important to you. And this is just a practical example of like what I'm doing. I'm going to be putting all of my relic levels onto the, you know, Jedi Cal when he gets here. And if, if Supreme Leader Kylo needs to wait for a, a little bit, I suppose that's probably worthwhile to me. And then, you know, we'll, we'll just be working on slow farming and gearing all this other stuff. So anyways, that that's the stuff that I'm thinking about and prioritizing and, you know, layering for everything. Uh, it, eventually, probably pretty soon, I'll be putting out a Zeta priority video. You guys don't get to see what my priority is quite yet for that, but that, that's something that we'll be putting out anyways. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember that in all things, Zareth prevails. Take care, folks. Let me know what your thoughts are.